Hey guys, it's Horatio here with another Pokemon review. This time it is the Mind Plate Arceus uh, Banpresto UFO plush. Um, so let's take a look at him. Originally, I wanted this review to be a sort of you saw Clefairy, you saw Mewtwo, now let's go over a really cool Ben Presto plush. But as I was kind of getting ready for the review and outlining it, I noticed several things about this plush that kind of pissed me off, actually. So we'll get to those in due time. Uh, and I'll, so I'll knock him down. Uh, but first, let's kind of just get a good look at him overall. He is, uh, Van Presto released every single mind plate form of Arceus in this, in this size of plush. They were all basically identical except different color there and different color on the mandala and the toes. So, now that you've kind of seen him from all angles, let's look at his tags really quickly. Here's the hang tag. It's not really an interesting hang tag. It just kind of has the information about the lineup and the movie. You can turn it around. It's got some copyright information. And the tush tag is a very basic Van Presto tush tag. It says Van Presto, copyright 2009. Flip it over and you got the Pokemon Diamond and Pearl logo. So let's talk about his details and how everything on here is put together. For starters, the embroidery on his eyes is, is very pretty. It's not the best embroidery in the world. Let's see if I can show this really well. The red thread gets kind of gappy and some green pokes out. Which is kind of disappointing, but from a distance is ultimately unnoticeable. The lines on his face is embroidery over that fabric that I always complain about. I really hate this fabric. Um, and then his chin thing that comes up here is that same fabric, which, while I would accept the face being that fabric, while the rest of him is um, Velboa, not Minky, I, uh, I really hate that this is made out of that fabric. It, it really clashes and it looks kind of really weird. Um, so that's one of my main disappointments of this. Then we've got the same itchy fabric going back over the bottom of his head with embroidery. Flip him, flip him around. He's got the string that would be used to display him in an arcade. Uh, this detail is screen printed on or painted. Um, the shame about using screen printing and paint on Velboa fabric is, if I tilt him so you get a side view of it, you can see that it separates in kind of a strange way. Um, ultimately using another fabric or using embroidery for that would have been a better option. Um, as with his toes, which are painted but on a different kind of fabric that's layered underneath the Velboa. The toes are a really nice effect. It's a shame that the white thread shows so clearly on them, but overall, when he's standing, you can't see it, and the toes look very nice. His mandala is felt, uh, which I've complained about before. Felt degrades very easily. Um, and then the green spots is screen printed on, actually pretty well for being done on felt. And then these parts of his mandala are glued on, and they peel back. The glue is not very well, and it's yellow glue. Seriously, Banpresto, yellow glue on a white plush? Like, this this is this is new. This isn't even something that you see so much on older Banpresto plushes, and it when I noticed it, I was actually kind of appalled. Uh, because it looks horrible, and even when it peels back a little bit, you can see this horrible little yellow spot. It's really disappointing for a plush when Ben Presto is generally esteemed to be second only to Pokemon Center plushes and Tomy plushes. It's a really, really disappointing uh, thing to, to have to notice. It's a really, really disappointing distraction from the overall quality of the plush. Uh, these little tufts and crests are very nice, subtle touches that are done uh, on both sides, and he's got some on his legs. One of the things that I really like is the layering of fabrics on his legs right there. The fabric's layered, 
and then you get kind of a layered effect on the chest. That's a really, really nice effect. It does a good job of bringing to light uh, the original Sugi Mori art and how Arceus is designed. There you've got some screen printing on that gray fabric. And same with on the back of his tail. It's screen printed rather than embroidered, which is a shame. It seems like adding those few lines embroidered wouldn't have been too too hard. But, oh well, it's on the bottom of him. We don't notice it that much. Overall, though, I like this plush. I like Manpresto from a distance. The plush looks very nice. He's sturdy, he's secure, and we actually used him as a Christmas tree topper this year. He's definitely... He stands well, he's hard to knock over, and he's got... I, li I, I like the style of him. There's just so many things that detract from the overall quality of the plush that I think was kind of a shame to have to notice. Um, especially, like I said, when Ben Presto was esteemed to be so great, there's so many things wrong with the plush. But overall, it is a good plush. If you're an Arceus fan, if you're into a specific plate form, I really like the mind plate form, so that's why I have him. I'd say totally go for him. But if not, then he might not necessarily be worth your time. So, this is Horatio signing out. Uh, I'll see you guys at the next review. Sorry to have so much negative stuff to say about Arceus. I would like to add that I am fond of him. He's cute. I like him. I have him in my collection, and he's staying in my collection, so he's not the end of the world for me. But... As I said, a lot of things that detract from his overall quality. But I'll see you guys in the next review. Have fun. Thanks for watching.